Hey guys, and welcome back to Latasha Hewitt Homes. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. We hope that you will consider subscribing. On this channel, we talk about all things home, home organization, home decorating, decluttering, minimalism, uh, real estate, just a little bit of everything, anything that deals with home. And today, I actually want to talk about five things or areas that I've decluttered that has really transformed my life and uh, I wanted to share those with you and the first one is actually in the car which is why I'm sitting in here um, and that is my trusty console here um, you know that was probably one of the first things that I decluttered when I decided I really just wanted to simplify the mess the junk in every uh, area of my life and so uh, what I did was I opened up this area and I literally just went through everything um, because it will, it always frustrates me. And I'm sure some of you have had this experience when I open this, knowing that I had put something in there, but I couldn't find it. It was like this abyss <laughs> of like, it has to be somewhere down there. And so I really just cleaned it out and took out anything that wasn't necessary, anything that I had stored, thinking I would use it later. And I was really happy with what I was left with so this is the console here now now I will say one of the largest things in here is this case it really can come out because I already have it attached as you see right here so I don't really need to keep the box but I didn't want to misplace it so I kept it here but as you can see if I take that out it leaves a significant amount but um, I leave it in there because I have the space now but I have the essentials I have my easy pass in case I need to go through the turnpike I have a whole hand lotion which of course during the winter is great to have I have my badge to get into um, real estate office which I used to lose all the time because it would get stuck between the crevices I have masks in case we need to grab one of those and I had this trusty little um, kit that I got from a church when we visited it and I was like, it's perfect. It has napkins in them. It has um, a little notepad. It has extra mask in there. So this, to me, this was the perfect thing to have because these are the things that we're grabbing for when we're in the car. So having this organized makes it so easy to find what we need when we need it. And all the extra junk is gone. So now when I go to find something like a charger or whatever, it's so easy to come across because there's very few items in here and only the things that I need. I love it. All right, guys, the second place, you guessed it because you were here with me when I did it, and that is the coat closet. Yes, the coat closet. I am still very much impressed with the decluttering that we were able to do in here because nine times out of ten when it's time to leave the house, we're rushing or we're trying to get in there as soon as possible because we've underestimated our time, and the last thing we want to, to do is search for the perfect coat for what we need to wear. But by paring down uh, what is available, it helps make that decision um, happen very quickly. And the preferred coats are easy to pick out, pull from the closet, put on as we head out the door. And number three is also another area you should be familiar with. And that is the infamous junk drawer. Okay, so this is the newly transformed junk drawer. Now, I did this several months ago. Um, you can check it out in a previous video. And it has held up very well, which shows me that a junk drawer or catch-all drawer or miscellaneous drawer, whatever you call it, doesn't have to be junky. Um, once you organize it, it can actually stay organized. And this has made it very easy when I'm in the kitchen and I need a pin I know that I have a drawer full of pins and you know even this can be minimized to me this is still excessive um, but I know we, I have a pin know where to get it if I'm trying to measure something I know exactly where to go I have two in here if we need a match there's a match here batteries which I was using during the Christmas um, decorating even these little um, hanging clips I knew exactly where to come because I remember that I had organized them and put them here in the junk drawer and also coupons I don't I only try to keep the coupons I know I will use and I put them in here so I know exactly what they where they are so when I go to the store to purchase those things I grab them and we're on our way and when I'm trying to trim my little candle here 
I know exactly where to go because it's close by where um, I need it. So listen, when I say cleaning out your junk drawer just brings new life, I really mean it. And for number four, I'm pretty sure you can guess where I'm going next. And that's to the bedroom closet. That's right guys, decluttering my closet has changed the way I get dressed in the morning. Uh, I mean, I still have those days where I'm a little indecisive, but at least I can eliminate those things that no longer fit or that I just don't like completely. Um, so it makes it easier for me to choose my outfits for the day. And I love that because I save time and I save frustration and I'm not done. I'm still gonna continue to declutter as I get gifts for Christmas. I am going to get rid of more stuff to make room for new stuff. We're not trying to increase volume. We're trying to increase efficiency. So I'm definitely happy with the closet declutter. And ladies and gentlemen, the fifth thing that I'm really excited about having decluttered is my nightstand. So at the end of a long day, when you're coming to recline and just collapse on your bed, the last thing you need is clutter in the area where you're trying to find peace and relaxation. And so I really wanted to <laughs> clean off this area so that when I came to bed, this was something that didn't make me even more frustrated or um, make me think about all the things I needed to do or um, just served as a distraction for me. So I decided to just clean out as many things under here. I only wanted to put the things that I was using when I went to bed or that were convenient for me to have access to from my bed. So I definitely wanted to have, of course, have my devotional book here, um, some other reading books, um, just casual reading here. And I also kept a few cards, one from my husband who was trying to be funny and, you know, one from my children because sometimes before you go into bed, it's always kind of nice to reflect on family and happy memories. And so I definitely wanted those things closest um, to my bedside. And then over here, I have some other reading. Should I um, finish reading those books? Those are kind of the reserves, the just in case, but everything else is pretty much clear. I do kind of keep my phone here and charge it at night because I do want to have access to that, but pretty much it's the lamp and reading material. But I guess the biggest transformation is almost those drawers where we get really, <laughs> where it gets really tough because we can kind of hide away things. But I really wanted to even organize my nightstand drawer. As you can see here, um, I kind of bought some dividers. Um, I think I got these from maybe Ross. Um, they don't fit exactly how I wanted them to. They kind of overlap, but it, it fits the purpose that I need them for. So I use them. It's very good to have things that have compartments because you can nestle things into them. And so I have just like random things like my Apple watch, uh, extra band, um, some cords I need to charge different things, batteries and um, different brackets, some more electronics, hand sanitizer. Sometimes you need that um, at night. Oh, my eucalyptus that I'm going to use for my diffuser excited about that and just some extra cordage and a back massager which is really great i love to have this but also some additional cards and some eyeglass cases things that i kind of randomly need um, but everything is pretty much organized and can be seen immediately when you open the drawer so i don't have to search for things um, i always keep a couple of pens in case i need to jot down something a note before bed over here but not too many <laughs> like the drawer downstairs but I'm really happy with my nightstand. Um, it, it provides me um, a sense of organization and a lack of chaos in the area where I'm trying to get rest. All right, guys, that wraps up the five areas around my home that ha I have decluttered and literally transformed my life. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and press that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Also in those comments, let me know what areas you're starting to declutter around your home and how it's changing the way you live. All right, guys, until next time, be safe, be well, and continue to declutter. We'll see you in the next video.